What's up, YouTube? You know what it is. It's your boy, Easy Tech Joe, back with another video, man. And here we go again with another tool haul, you guys. And here I got a few hand tools. I got something right here in this box. You see OEM Tools? They're a pretty good tool company. Something there in that box, man. And today, um, some of these tools I got a few days ago, about, about, maybe about a week ago. And a couple of these tools I got today just today in the mail and uh we're about to check them out man but right here guys right here is the 3 8 ratchet gear wrench 120 tooth ratchet and this ratchet has been out for a little while now it's new but not new at the same time and if you're not familiar with this gear wrench ratchet here it's a 120 tooth ratchet now most teeth stop at 72 uh, Matco has 88. Um, some stop at 92 ratchets. This is an 122, and what it is, it's a two. It's a uh, it's a two paw design uh, with two 60, two 60 paw uh, teeth. It's in there together, and that's what makes up that 122. And as you can see here, sorry about that. And as you can see here, pretty nice finish. It is a long reach. I believe this is about 15 inches long. Um, the standard is about what 12. I think Icon long reach stop at right at 13, maybe. Uh, but this is 15 inches long, guys. This is considered long reach. It's supposed to have a nice torque with it. I've seen a lot of reviews about it. Uh, my guy, uh, Katie, uh, Katie Texas Garage. He's done plenty of videos about this ratchet here. When you get a chance to go check out his channel and um this is a really nice ratchet i have to say i am pleasantly pleased at this purchase right here and um you can hear that tooth it's pretty pretty smooth you can see it's not too much time before you get to the next click that's due to that 120 tooth design in this ratchet right here so I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty pleased with this purchase right here. I gotta say I'm I'm eager to use it. I'm very eager to use it, man. Very eager. And speaking of ratchets, we have the all new, just dropped about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, 3 8 nickel Matco ratchet. Now, if you're not familiar with the new nickel ratchets, it is a cross between chrome and the black chrome design, right? Basically, this is if you, you can tell the difference here. You can tell the difference between the nickel and the chrome. And I probably, the camera's probably not even doing it a lot of justice at this point. But um, you can tell the difference between this and the regular chrome design. And I believe the reason why they came out with this one is because people had a lot of complaints about the black chrome scratching off due to wear or whatever. But this is supposed to hold its own just like this chrome here, keeping that chrome finished. This nickel is supposed to keep its finished. And as you can see, it's pretty much not very much different from the regular 88 tooth Matco ratchet. This one just has a different finish. And I have to say, I really like it. Uh, I've been waiting on this for months, ever since Coon Trucking dropped a video about, uh, I believe that's how everybody found out, about the video of the new nickel uh, Matco ratchets dropping a few months ago. Yeah, it's been that long, a few months ago. I've literally been waiting since then. Hey, I finally got it, man. And I am very pleased about it. I actually went to go track down my Matco dealer because he usually come on Mondays. Uh, but it was Labor Day this past Monday. And um, I had to go track him down <laughs> to actually go and get this. So he met up with me man hey big ups to you Chaz man uh he's a great tool dealer he works with you man and um hey man I'm very pleased with this ratchet here of, of course it's the 88 tooth it's the flex head locking and um green of course you know if you know me you know I like green man and I really have to say man that this tool is lovely um can't wait to use this uh like I said it's not a big difference from the regular Matco ratchets other than the finish but it's nice and it's real pretty so i like it <laughs> 
And next, put these ratchets over here out the way. We got some little basic hand tools here uh, from Mayu, Klein Tools, and Steady. Now, I found Steady on um, Amazon, so you can see that. If I can kind of. Anyways, I found Steady here on Amazon.com. I'll put the link in the description. This is just some basic cutting scissors. And uh, these are kind of resemblance of my Matco, but they're not exactly the same. Um, I found these, I'm, I'm putting these in my toolbox here. I needed some scissors in my tool bag, sorry. And um, these was about, I can't remember, maybe about 15 bucks on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, as you can see here, it has the cutout here to cut wires, um, acceptable wires, of course. And uh, I really needed this to really cut what I need to cut when I'm on the road doing road calls, man. Every now and again, I come into a contact where I need some good scissors, and um, I hadn't had any. So um, I got tired of transporting scissors out of my tool cart and just went ahead and got it there. And as a matter of fact, let me um, show you guys my Matco scissors here. Just to show you the resemblance. Sorry about that. Just to show you the resemblance here. Um, Looks like they're not the same. Uh, they're not rebranded steady. There's just the concept here. It's almost like saying that Matco is rebranded gear wrench when definitely it's not. Gear wrench is made by Apex, I believe. And I'm not quite sure what uh, who makes these Matco ratchets for them. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's the same kind of design here. Just pull that lever and it unlocks. You push it back and it locks again. And the same kind of design here for this steady cut um, cutting scissors. And like I said, this is standing in my toolbox because I really get tired of transporting tools from my toolbox to my tool bag. Sorry about that, to my tool bag because I always end up forgetting something. So this is going in my tool bag. This is going back in my tool cart here. All right. I'm sure I got the right drawer here. Kind of messy. But anyways, um, and here we have Klein Tools. I did a short video about this a while back. Uh, well, last week, rather than seeing how I just got it. Klein Tools Multi 15-in-1 uh, bit set, ratcheting bit set here. And it has the compartment here so I can open it with my one hand here. Open it with my one hand here. And uh, you see they got the bits in the inside compartment there for a good um, concealed compartment there. And it's also ratcheting. So this is the ratcheting selector here. And it just, you know, for an easy twist, it's easy on your wrist. You know, um, saves time with the ratcheting mechanism. And uh, I like it, man. I put this in my tool bag as well. And um, it's been pretty nice. I got, finally got a chance to use it when I bought it last week. And uh, I have to say, it saved me some time and saved me less stress. So I really enjoy that. I enjoy that. And this here is from Mayhew. Mayhew Tools. This is a, um, it's not pocket pry bars. These are just regular mini pry bars. Uh, roughly, you're probably not gonna have this in your pocket compared to the regular pocket pry bars with a handle on the end to put it in your pocket. These, once again, are going to my tool bag um, for just prying little things out like glad hand seals. Little thing of that because I am a diesel tech so I mess with the glad hands and everything of that such. And yes, these are made by Mayhew, the same people that make Matco pry bars, all right? Just for the record, because people like to point that out, right? <laughs> and um, I really like this Matco ratchet. I'm very excited about it, y'all. Very, very excited about it. Um, I mean, it's pretty nice. I mean, not too much to say about it, man. And um, this box right here. Let's see what's inside this box, shall we? And here we go. Y'all see it right here, folks. This is the OEM Tools socket organizer, all right? Socket trays here. We have the um, the half inch, the three eighths, and the quarter right here. And all of these come in metric and standard. The standard is in green, and the um, metric is in black. Your basic socket organizer, you know what I mean? I really needed some more socket organization. I had that bogus Pittsburgh one and it sucked major ass, all right? It is what it is. And um, I really like this set here. It gives me what I need. Uh, it, it looks greener, or it looks kind of high vis in the camera, but um, this is actually green here. I don't know why it looks like that in the camera. But anyways, I needed some more socket organizers, and this is definitely gonna do what I, what I need to do and get what I need to get 
and uh, it's gonna. It's this. This drawer is a mess now. I don't. I don't even want to open it to show y'all right now, man. But <laughs> this is definitely gonna help me with my work. Um, help me organize better. Help me get through drives quicker. Finding certain sockets. Um, I really don't like the socket rails because it doesn't tell me which socket is which. I haven't had to look at the socket to actually tell which one it is. And uh, it just saves me time, man. So I got that. But hey guys, that's it y'all. This is the last bit of my tool haul here. The OEM socket um, socket trays organizer. And all of these links will be in the description. The uh, Amazon links will be in the description. They are Amazon affiliate links, just to let you guys know. And um, yeah, man, this is it y'all. Had the Metco ratchet, the Gear Ranch ratchet. Uh, basically everything that I've been wanting for a little while. And I just wanted to share it with you guys, man. So hey. If you're a tool enthusiast like me, a tool addict like me, like and subscribe. Hit that comment section. Let me know what you guys think, all right? And if anything, any questions or anything that you guys want to see, anything else, any video ideas, hey, let me know in the comments, man. Y'all know me. I like to interact with you guys, and I like to give y'all what y'all want to see, man. Check it out. Y'all know what it is, man. Be easy.